Hey, Dave Knight here, 123 daytradecom Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We're in development mode. Today is, uh, what is today? June 10th, 2020. Uh, I'm actually working on a uh, bracket order, and we're going to work on that a little bit. Uh, going back to the basics, uh, right now I'm updating my spreadsheet. So I'm going back uh, nine days. And then putting that data. So I just uh, finished updating the spreadsheet. Let's see where we're at right now. 2.5 ADR, 25 tick, 1 R, ah. 1 half R, 12.5, 13 and 25. We have a 1 and a half P target at 46. And three at 91. That's kind of how we're going to set up here. That's what I want to set this cell up for. Um, I don't know if I have enough time to do the buy yet, but I uh, want to get it together. All right, so I'm not going to worry about volume. I'm just trying to set things up right now. Um, yesterday's high 38.50, or open was 38.50. 38.61 is. Today's uh, excuse me. Today's open is 38.50. Today's high is 38.61. low. Yesterday's close is 38.39. All right, and uh, just setting up the spreadsheet. 38.50 is today's open. We're trading currently 38.06. All right, that does it for that. Volume. Save this. All right, so I'm working on. Um, the sell side here. And we've got a multi exit. Now it just says sell one. Got to correct that. Want to volume of two. All right. So we want one to come off at 13. Can I move that? Clear. Edit and so I want to stop market right there, buy back one at 13 and buy back the second one at 25. All right, and then our targets. 46 ticks. Selling to you, buy one back, okay, that's right, and buy the second one back at 91. Okay, I want to get rid of that. Clear. clear. Oh, shit, did I just get rid of the whole freaking thing? And yeah, did. Son of a gun. All right, start over. All right, so this is the cell, volume of two, stop limit, three tick slippage, okay. All right, so we want to buy one back at minus, goes against us, 13 tick, stop market. I want to buy the next one back at 25. Sometimes the best way to do this is to be in practice mode, which I am in practice mode since I'm haven't uh, reset it. I haven't reset my. Uh, I've been wanting to play around a little bit, so this is the best way to play around when you're not buy one back limit. Let's double check that. And then we want 
uh, what do we say, 92 ticks, 91. Okay. Okay, let's double check and see what that looks like now. Selling two. So it should set it up correctly now. Hardest part is it's very sensitive. There's buy one, buy one back. Buy one. All right, that should set that correctly up. And then we're selling two at a limit order. Should have one coming off at yeah, 46, one and a half p, and the other one at three. All right, that looks good. Alright, so we got sell on. Let's put that in, see if it shows correctly. Yep. Two coming in on the sell. That's correct. Now we just need to work on the buy side. So we want to buy two. The stop limit. Three ticks. All right, so with the buyback one at minus 30, get rid of that one, clear that, so I'm buying back one at minus 13, so we're selling one back, stop market. And the other one at minus 25. Sell one back, stop mark, whoops, stop, not stop market, same on it. Stop market, one out. All right, so that's correct. All right, on the other side, we want to be 46 ticks, one and a half P. So we want to sell one on a limit order. That's correct. And then selling the, oops, get rid of that one. Clear that. Let's double check, make sure we didn't lose anything. All right, that's good. The other one is we're uh, buying back at 91. It's a 3P move. All right, so so the buy side should show two when we put it in. It's not working. So is working. Alright, we've got to figure out what we did with the buy side. Try this again. I think it was set as a standard batch. Buy two. Stop limit. Three ticks. Okay. Sell one back. That should be a stop limit. Selling the second one back at minus 25. Stop limit. That looks good. Buying it at plus 46. This should be a limit order. That's correct. 
in 92, 91. All right, let's try to see if it'll fit in now. There we go. Ah, uh, we're good. Not a moment to spare. Four minutes to go until uh, Wapner. So we'll be putting in some bracket orders in here to buy or sell. This is what the uh, 15 minute looks like. Let's go up to a daily quickly. Got the inventory report coming out at 10.30. 9.30 central time today. So we're done. We have that right there. Daily chart coming off. Uh, I'm expecting to sell the market today. So it's kind of what I want to be in. Got to wait one minute to get in. There's your hourly. Don't know if it's going to sell or not. Here's your 15 minute. Could zoom up. And uh, 10 minute chart. We've got our foundation chart that we're working on. We'll pull that over. Here's what the 10 minute looks like. So we've got, um, yeah. see what comes up with that. All right. I want to play around today when we're uh, I like to uh, I like when I'm not uh, I wish they still had a practice account at Top Step Trader they used to have a practice account that you could pay for and that uh, was a really good deal at one point because it helped me work in, a, in an environment that I knew that uh, I got two buys up here what the hell What's that one? All right, that one doesn't work. Let's um, clear that out. And get rid of it all together. Yes. That one's correct. That's correct. The hardest part is to know which way you want to go. We, we'll know which way we want to go in the, in the one minute, which side of the bracket we want to be on uh, on the inventory port. All right, what are we at? How many minutes away? 9.28, two minutes away. Let's get that uh, Forex factory up. Let's see what they're expecting. In the right time zone, that's good. Inventories coming out here at 9.30. FOMC statement today. Uh-oh. Federal funds rate. It's kind of a done deal, though, you would think. <clears throat> the good news in the economy, the FOMC is not going to want to screw that up. I do want to print off my spreadsheet, though. Look at volume later. Volume's kind of insignificant when it's coming up with the inventory. The inventory number, if it's a surprise, can be a very powerful number. All right. You can always tell when it comes out, right? The market picks up momentum and speed. Five point seven million positive. All right, see how that plays out. There. Negative. What was that negative number? Why was that showing red? Five point seven million. All things being equal. Let's see how things set up here. Red bar. Failure bars underneath this. Okay, 931. Okay, well, I want to sell it 
82 it looks like right now. And you want to buy above pivot at 21. I'm going to sell at 93 now. Double check that number. It should be 92. We're looking at CL Pitt today with two contracts trading. This is one half R and one R. The other side should be set up at plus 46 and plus 91. Did come in correctly though, that's good to know. Still would like to sell it. So the thing we have left is the full R stop. Selling to thirty-eight oh four actually selling three off 3802 
the problem that I run with running two contracts is the 50 ticks is very quick to be able to be run. Now, if you go up to the 50K account, you have, a, you have to control, you, have, you still have the 1,000 weekly loss in it as well. All right, so we look like we've got some stop running going on here. One, two, three times, three, four, four times at least up there. So this should be good. I'm just struggling here. So let's sell two at nineteen. I gotta get rid of that, huh? And then we want to sell one more. We need to get out of that. Sell it like that. It's not really breaking up hard and fast to start with. Got a GAN signal on the charts here. One, two, three, four coming down. The market's not able to get up, therefore, it's going to come back down. All right, so that one left the 40, the 1.5 R, 1.5 P target, and it got rid of the other target. Okay, I'm going to live with that. We'll go after a 2 P target from entry point. 3821 will move to a 3 P target, or 2 P target. <clears throat> 2 P target 61, that brings in at 3882. And this is going to make us, this one's going to open up another trade, so we've got to clear that out. Clear that one. Clear that one. All right, that's set up correctly. Get rid of that. All right, right on the low. 3P target, 
right, so minimally speaking, what I'm looking for is, is something like this going after that target right there. The market didn't want to go up. Therefore, it seems like it's going to be a stronger sell. Looking at our 10-minute chart, you can see the higher high divergence. So you have get the screen draw tool out to show you a little bit easier. We have this, this. Should see this down here. Barely crosses over. This is a test, in my humble opinion. All right, so I don't like being on even numbers. Stop at 20, 33. It's another even number. Let's put this way out of the way. Pretend that we have a big loss that we can run with. That would be failure up there at settlement line. what shouldn't happen is it shouldn't go if it does go all the way up here it should come down a little bit as well more supply than expected let's look at that number again so so they're expecting a drawdown they got a 5.7 million so that's uh was that 1.85 that's like 8 million miss of the forecast they're expecting they were expecting a drawdown more people driving more people doing stuff and they got 5.7 million more barrels it shows you it goes, goes to show how the market is all right so this is the high of that one and we want to be three ticks higher than that three to five over that right there 34 that should be about All right, so our GAN number today is 3756. That's the magic number today. 
3727 is 190 degree down day. And we'll hold 3728. If it does want to fall, what's the high today? The day is the day's high is 3861. 3861 and a 9P down would be 3586. Let's move our one target down if it really wants to come down today. Going after a 9P would be 3586. Oops, shit. That's not going to let me do that. All right, so I hit the button twice there, unfortunately. So failure on both these contracts was around the 39 level. I think that'll bring us over 50 tick stop though. And this is the hardest part about with the 50 tick stop loss pretty much or less than that is that you just don't have room to trade two contracts. I've never really figured out how to do it. The only way that I know how to do it is going with one contract on the 50 tick. There's just 50 ticks. It doesn't give you a lot of room to negotiate trades. So if we're only trading one, we'd only be down like say one, one half R. Little spike there action. All right, that went. To twenty nine. We'll move one down to thirty four. We'll go three ticks off of that spike right there, it'll be thirty two. I will go 31, that's fine. We'll bring the second one right on top of this here, which is 34, right? Market finally showed its hand. So going after the low here, 3773. And then um, the second contract, we'll figure it out later. You know, one of these days I might 
go after the hundred thousand dollar account. I still think you have a still gloss on that one though. So I can trade my tortoise and hare strategy. So you have a 2,000 daily loss limit and a weekly, oh, only step two only. Trailing max drawdown is 3,000, 325. And would, I would only trade two contracts in that, though. You know, it might be worthwhile going after it, resetting and going after the 100K account. 6,000 target, you have a 3,000 max drawdown, so it's still 50K is 2 and 3, this is 1 and 2, this is still the best one to go after though, in my humble opinion, you just have to use one contract at it, it's tough though. Got to be able to withstand the initial push back. Okay, so let's capture a little bit here. going after this low here. If we get within 10 ticks of it, we're going to pull this one down. All right, let's go ahead and lock in our five on one. And bring break even on the second one here now. And you don't have to worry about, uh, the, the point is, is that it's, it's so much more fun to be able to, and maybe I need to go into a higher combine to be able to uh, trade my full strategy at it, at least the tortoise and hare side of it. Maybe I've looked at this thing the wrong way for a long time. I don't know. I mean, I, I get confused very quickly. And I know that I've been able to make one contract work many times, but I've not been able to sustain my uh, funded account, or pro-funded for that matter. The thing is, though, if I move into a different combine, then i got to start back to step one.
Let's see, all right, so this is one of those days that you want to make sure that you win something. Thirty-eight nineteen. One P is thirty-seven eighty-eight. Kind of how I set it up here. Thirty-eight oh seven. Whoops. Get rid of that one. I think we got rid of the whole contracts there. There, hit the button twice. That's so hard to be able to to get everything. Let's clear all our other targets out. Okay, everything's gone. Don't have anything open though? No open orders on my order book. Nothing's working. Everything's out. Not how I wanted to do that there at all. <clears throat> so anyway, hopefully that'll help you with the uh, setting up the bracket orders there. I wanted to play around with that today. So if we want to sell again, I want to be underneath here at 91. So let's set it up again just for fun's sake. And there's a GAN signal coming the other direction now. Let's get rid of that. So buy on at uh, uh, about 08. Playing in a down. What are we planning today? Down 96 ticks. No, we don't want to be screwing around with that. Selling it at roughly 94, it looks like. I uh, should be short one still. But I double clicked in there and it's really easy to do. That's one of the downfalls of uh, the dome is that when you're dropping and dragging sometimes it's really tough. I mean this is still a short signal until it gets back to pivot. I don't care what this says. Here's the 333 chart. Anyway, so you can see that when you're trading two, the point is, is that, here's the point. Is it worth it? You have a daily loss limit on the 50K. Oh, shit. Get back here. Trailing max drawdown of 2,000. This is the this is the kicker right there. The the 1,000 weekly loss that stops you from trading big time quickly. 
Now it comes down to trading one against 500. Or trading two against the 1,000 weekly loss. The daily loss and the weekly loss are the are equivalently the same for 15 extra dollars. So this puts you in the tortoise and hare situation where you can actually, but if you get close to a thousand weekly loss, you have to stop trading for the week. That was always been the down play of the 50k for me. This one here has always been too cost prohibitive for me to feel comfortable. Uh, 325 and obviously going after $9,000 I mean it's still the futures account that they're giving you with only being able to trade uh, two contracts or three at this level with the scaling plan you can only trade up to three I believe here and only two or three here you only trade two here on the scaling plan up to two here on this so even though this has 15 contracts the scaling plan which is the biggest thing to, to keep track of right there the scaling plan in step two they tell you what you have to do so you can only do two lots on 30k you can only do two lots on the 50k three lots at 100k and three lots and let's say that each contract's worth roughly a day trading margin of about <clears throat> 1500 to 2000 you in, in effect what you're getting is about a five or six thousand dollar futures account set up for you you can't do the 15 lots because you have to have they want you to have 154,000 by your scaling plan so you only get to start with three so regardless, so you have to follow these rules. Now on this one here, you have to have a $1,500 gain before you can add the next lot on. You have to have another $1,500. Oh, let's see here, it's a $3,000 gain before you can add five. all the way back to break even so we'd have been a break even trade there maybe even plus five or so But that's how you can use the brackets to uh, order in the CTS platform. I mean, you can make this anything you want. Like this is only two. You saw it comes into the into the bracket order, and you put your stops and targets in. So pretty cool product to be able to use that way. You can actually set this up for as many contracts as you want, and set it up however you want to that that to work. You can actually buy in a different matter too. It's multi-exit. So you can buy one, buy one, sell one, sell one, plus, plus, plus. You can do however you want to do this. You can use this multi-exit, multi-entry to a lot of different ways. And what I showed you how to do it, you can actually set up buy one at, at zero, buy another at plus three, buy the third at plus ten, however you want to work it. You can work that to multi-exit out. It's kind of fun that way to be able to use it. <clears throat> a different way. So you have, a, obviously, I have my issues with with the, the, the stop loss side of it. I know if I can trade enough contracts, I can usually turn the day around. What's your max daily loss you're after? Well, for me, it's usually about a thousand a contract. So, that's 
thousand a contract puts me in over here if I'm trading two. Because even this hundred to K account, I don't I still only trade two contracts in here. Even though you could trade three, I would trade two. No, maybe three. But you'd have to take two at uh, the 1.5 R or 1.5 P and one with the trailer. But I think I would still start with two. It's so difficult to figure out how it's it all comes down to this right here because you can't go past this 2000 daily loss or weekly loss. This one here. If this was lower in price, I would try this out. This is the one that I would want to be in. To, because this one right here is how I would operate my tortoise and hare strategy. <clears throat> Although it says 10 contracts, you can't do 10 until a long time after that because the scaling plan. We're 10 contracts is the max of the scaling plan. See it? 10 lots. So you have to have a $3,000 gain to be able to trade 3, be able to trade 10. Yeah, maybe the scaling plan is to problem with the run into this is that once you're up to 10 lots, it's still I believe it's still a ten a two thousand <laughs> weekly loss. Um, yeah. they, they, they get you one way or the other. So you're trading two lots with a, a ten three lots with a two thousand dollar stop loss. You could actually lose just per contract. You could lose uh, six hundred sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents a piece less 370 commission now uh, about let's say like 607 you know you'd have, you only lose about um, say 660 per contract put you at roughly 1980 now if you have 10 lots on and a two thousand dollar loss all of a sudden, that turned into 200 bucks. So only there's 200 dollars on the 10 lots. So, um, and the max of 30k account is three lots, and that's where all the other ones start at. This is why I like this one here the best. But the problem with the run it is you the to trade the two lots correctly, you got to have, um, even if you have a gain, let's say you have that $1,500 gain, you're still locked into the $500 loss limit. So one contract can go 50 ticks, two contracts can only go 25 ticks a pop, and then three lots at a $500 loss is even less. You can only lose about uh, 15 ticks on three so it makes it really really difficult really difficult on the scaling plan <clears throat> very very difficult that's where they uh, the, the rules are in their favor man they really are you've got to be an extreme really your biggest thing at top set trader is you have to be an extremely good manager of risk and if you could do that, if you can shut your system down on a losing day, you can win. Now, another way of approaching it is to get some gains and, and scale it, get this higher in a day, and all of a 